Sports fans are gearing up at Interstate Sports, your home for officially licensed fan gear. We have jerseys, custom frames, team signs, draft tumblers, and more. For every sports fan's needs, visit interstatesportsgifts.com. The good. The bad. The ugly. The Colorado Buffaloes went to the Rose Bowl to take on the UCLA Bruins and took a beating. This is the Good, Bad, and Ugly Film Review. Let's see what happens. The Good. Before we get to the good, I just want to let you know that all of these videos have been demonetized by YouTube because of the footage that we use. So all I'm asking is that you hit the subscribe button, notification bell, and share and like this video as well. Also, check out interstatesportsgifts.com, our sponsor for today's show. For all of your sports memorabilia needs, make sure you hit them up. All the information is down in the description. Colorado is taking on UCLA. Here we are. It is 1225 in the first quarter, third and three. They got to be able to convert this deal. Let's take a look at it. Right? One of the few times Shadow actually gets a chance to throw the ball and not get hit. Right? Easy little swing route. As you see, they got the numbers, right? They got three on two. But unfortunately, the tight end here, Mikey, gets blasted into the dog on ball carrier. And he can't even we fall to the first down. But this is just unacceptable, man. Wow. Just power and strength. I mean, my goodness. Come on, man. Got to get a little stronger than that, guys. But at the end of the day, a good play because they converted it and made it a first down. First and 10, 11, 36 in the first. Here we are. Let's take a look at this deal. Shador. With the quick feet getting out of this deal, going to take a shot, but throws a dart. And I've always said, if you keep him up right, he can hurt you. But let's take a look right here. Let's look at the offensive tackle. Made it too easy. Both of the tackles are back here too easy, but Shador keeps his eyes downfield and delivers a dime right there to the tight end, Mikey Harrison, for the first down. Here we are. Let's take a look at this. This is going to be a good play by Mata. On the field goal here, a 31-yard attempt. But let's take a look at this. You already got a Bruin literally right in front of here. Somehow he missed the block. I don't know how he missed it, but he missed the block. But a shout-out to Model for keeping his eyes uh, down on the ball, kicking it, and delivering it, man. Great job. Third and four. Time to get off the field. Let's see what the Buffaloes do. All right. Third and three. Uh-oh. Mama, there go that man again. Let's talk about this play right here. Travis Hunter does an excellent job. They're in cover two. They do a good job disguising it, right? Looks like it's going to be a one high deal. The safety's kind of down a little bit. He's playing on the hash like he's going to the middle. Great disguise right here by Colorado. But watch. You can tell. They talked about Travis Hunter staying there during the bye week watching film, and it pays off. Watch this. He's going to quickly give him a two-hand jam and jump right inside of the number two. He's going to run like the little quick out. Watch this. Boom, little two-hand jam. Here it is. He sees it, eyes, and look at him. Man, if he doesn't fall down, he might be able to uh, get some yardage out of this, but an exciting, exciting interception. Those are great plays right there. Oh, my gosh, boy. <laughs> crazy, boy. That is crazy. Good shout-out, man. Shout-out to Travis Hunter coming back after that big injury in a, in a real tough game against Stanford, man. All right, unfortunately for the Buffs, it doesn't turn into a touchdown, but Mata gets a 39-yard field goal attempt right here, and they block it a little bit better, still getting a push in right here, but right down the middle, Mata, I don't miss. Third and seven, time to get off the field. Mama, there go that man again. Is this him? Here he is. Oh, no, I'm sorry. This is the, this is the sack right here, 44 by Dominic. Great job, great pass rush. Coming up the field, great swim move, gets to the depth of the quarterback, and that's important. Gets to the depth, it causes him to step up in the pocket, retrace his steps. Great sack right there, man. All right, second and three. Right, inside run. They kind of get up the field a little bit, right? UCLA does a good job sealing this off. Just, just misses that tackle. Still goes up here, but Shiloh say, uh-uh, player. Uh-uh. Get some. 
Fumbles the ball inside the red zone right there. The Buffs take over. I mean, the momentum meter was on the Buffalo side pretty much that whole uh, kind of first half, but uh, couldn't get any points out of the deal. 12.06, first and 10 in the second. Here we are. Right? Great job right here by Shador. Finding the open, open lane here. You're going to see number four. Going to get nosy and stick his eyes inside. They kind of seal this deal off for him. Shador takes off. Get down the field a little bit. Keep the chains moving. First down, Buffaloes. Great job by him. Second and 10, 8 10 in the second. Right here, great job. You're going to see it. This is the play I was talking about earlier. I had it misunderstood. Travis Hunter on a great play. Another cover two deal, right? Baits him into it, insulates the route, gets up underneath it for an interception. You're going to see an end zone cut of this deal so you can see it perfectly. All right, here we are. This is Travis Hunter. It's showing a cover two look right here. They're going to run the quick out, and he's going to go here and corner this deal out. Travis Hunter selling it. He sees his eyes. He sees his eyes working here, puts his foot in the ground, flips his hips, and get moving. I ski. Man, that's an excellent, excellent play right there. Look at that. Never saw him coming. Great job. Fourth and goal, 25-yard attempt. It looks like the Bruins are going to go up 10-6 to six in this deal. But nope. Football guys say, hit the pole, baby. Not so fast. The Buffalo stay alive, and they're ready to rock and roll. 36 seconds left in the second quarter. It is 7-6. to six. The Bruins are looking to score right before the half. As you see, got a good blocking system here. I mean, look at this. They're killing it right now in the blocking. But look, another fumble by Steele. Uh, my man Ward come in there. Silman Craig gets the ball up underneath. Great job to keep points off the board. But like I said, they got it sealed up. You see them come up to the next level. This would have been a big play right here, probably down to about the six or seven yard line. But the Buffalo's out there laying the lumber, baby. And that's what you want right there. All right, here we are. We're in the third quarter now. No, I, I, I apologize. Not the third. Yeah, this is the third quarter. I think there was a problem with the uh, uh, the camera system there or, or the graphics. But this is the third quarter right here. I talk about this gentleman all the time. If he can stay standing up, he can deliver dimes. This dude cannot wings off a fly with a football, man. Look at this. Stays up there, throws a beautiful ball in the bread basket. Weaver doesn't even have to, like, <laughs> adjust himself. Now, I will say this as you look at it. During this game, there's been a lot of quick game from Colorado, right? Throwing it now, hitches, like now routes, right? Quick game. So this corner fell asleep a little bit thinking, look at him, thinking he finna break. Gave him the head nod, holla at you. Safety too far away. Makes a great play right there. Great play. But unfortunately for the Buffaloes, they don't get an opportunity to put it in the end zone. So they have to take another Mata field goal in this deal. Let's take a look at the blocking. This is going to be important. Again, I, you know, they're so tight up in here. And I understand, but because they're so tight, it makes a shorter lane for these guys. Look how fast they're getting here, man. But shout out to Mata for keeping his poise, keeping his eyes down on the football, making great contact. All right, here we are. I think it's first and 10 in this deal. Great running right here by Alton McCaskill, number 22. Check this out. They're going to seal right up in this deal. It's a great job. Boom. Right here, the only thing I'm going to say is you got to climb. Once he's sealed, climb and cut this dude off, right? I, I can't see the lineman's number, but climb and cut him off, right? Because look at him. You don't get him. Now he's in pursuit, right? And look at him. It, I mean, it's just tough. Got to be able to seal those guys off, man. First and 10, 244 in the fourth quarter. Trying to get on the board with a touchdown. And that's exactly what happens here, right? Little slot fade. With Jimmy Horn, he's right here. They're going to run a little slot fade with him right there to the back corner of the end zone. They protect him up front pretty good. All right, it's coming down. And my goodness, but great over the head, over the shoulder catch right there by Jimmy Horn. And I'm going to say it one more time if I don't say it enough. If number two has enough time to throw the football, he can dot an eye with that football. Got to give him time. 
All right, that's it for the good. Now let's get to the bad. The bad. All right, here we are with the bad. Second and seven, seven oh seven in the first quarter. Here we go, another another steal run. Let's, I don't know if that's steal or not, but anyway, let's take a look at it around the corner. All right, they get sealed inside. Now you have no edge. You're leaving the corner to take the edge. Great jump cut right here by him, but now you're holding the corner, has to get the edge. He's getting blocked downfield. Unfortunately, they turn that into a first down. Third and seven. You know what this means. You got to try to convert this deal. But let's look at it. People have been asking, where's the tight end? Let's get the tight end in here. All right, they're going to get one. But here's where the mistake is in the communication. Come on, right here. Right here at this tackle. I, I, he just lets him go. Now let's take a look at the numbers. One, two, three, four, five. They have six, seven blocking. Seven people blocking. There's only five coming. All right. We, you just go straight past. I, 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 I'm... From a counting standpoint, the tight end has him. The tackle has him. Guard, center, tackle. I'm sorry. Guard, center, guard. Work this way. All right. And then guard, this guard and this tackle will work here. You got the numbers. It's as clear as date. I, I don't know why Shador's getting hit like this, but it has to be frustrating. Can't even deliver the rock. Incomplete pass. Fourth and 11. This is a perfect time. Get off the football field. If you get off the field, you get the ball right here in this position. In this possession, uh, position. But no, they leave it open. Right here, you're going to see Trevor Woods come in. You got to make this open field tackle, man. You have to. But he breaks it down, and you don't convert to the ball. He goes in and punches it across the line to keep the chains alive. Second and five, 58 seconds left in the half. Okay, let's look at this. Same kind of concept. This was a cover two deal, right? So it's a cover two concept. Travis Hunter is getting over here just a little bit late. And what they do is just basically run this. And instead of running the out, they're going to run the bubble. So now Travis Hunter has to kind of respect this gap in space. Look at this. Before they ran the out where he could have kind of jumped it. So now he's kind of like, uh, do I go here? Do I insulate it? Safety's late getting over. Hits him in the honey hole. Right now, they're also in field goal range. Tough first and 10, getting of the, of the third quarter. Big shot right here down the field. Big shot. Let's take a look at it right here. Number 18. Number 18, they're basically playing man. He's locked up here. You're locked up here. Gonna run a little switcheroo, right? Basically, a, a little uh, kind of slant and wheel route. I'm not sure why he's stuck in his in his stance, but gets beat. Fortunately, 17 don't have enough speed to run away from him. He makes the, the this tackle. Third and eight, 13.50 in the third. It's gonna get ugly right here. All right, great job. But let's go back and look at the blocking. Shador gets out of this. They are bringing literally the house at this deal. But it's still only five, believe it or not. It looks like it's a lot more than it really is. But watch him drop guys out of here, okay? But if you look on this side, running back doesn't have a chance. That that light blue locomotive coming through there, the protection is just crazy right here. You're going to see the tackle. He's going to take him right on the inside stunt. You got the guard trying to open up here, the running back open up here, and athletically they just can't handle it. But great job by Shador getting up out of there. He has to slide, but they have to end up punting the ball anyway regardless. Third and seven, get off the field. 130 left in the third, 14 and nine. Oh, God, Lee. Sometimes it just doesn't bounce your way, right? They bring it, have good pressure, get him. Look how he has to throw this ball, jump and throw it. But look at this catch. A one-hander with a, with a Tony toe tap in this deal. Let's see, I got an end zone cut. I mean, good coverage. Look at this deal. Literally toe taps this thing man toe taps that joker i mean it was almost simultaneous but look at this he out there looking like jordan right there man golly and sometimes it just, the ball just doesn't bounce your way unfortunately second and 10 106 in the third 
No edge whatsoever here for the Buffaloes. Let's take a look at this. They're going to outside zone. It's just a regular outside zone play. They're going to reach him. They're going to work together and then try to get up top here. He gets caught in the wash. See how much push they're getting? He gets caught in the wash. Go around the corner. Little tug on the jersey. Might have wanted to throw the yellow flag, but they didn't. First and 10, 8.58 in the fourth. Again, you know, you got a pretty decent pass rush here. You beat him, but you get up the field. He steps up, dumps it off. And again, Trevor Woods. Here's what I'll say to you, Trevor. If you know the defense, you know you're the last line of defense outside. Don't get caught with the hezzy, right? Run through his outside shoulder. Run through that outside shoulder because if he cuts back, the pursuit should be there to help you, right? I know sometimes you feel like you're all by yourself. But believe it or not, you got white jerseys getting to this ball, right? So if you made him cut back, Bentley could come in here and make this tackle. I'm not sure who this is right here. He can make that tackle. But once he hits you with the hezzy, he's got more foot speed than you. Jumps over that dude. Still McCray take both of y'all out. And he talking trash to old Bucky right here, man. I know Bucky like, man, I'm like, I'm like, I give you one, man. Stop playing with me, man. Anyway, that's it for the bad. Now let's get to the ugly. <laughs> The ugly. All right, here we are with the ugliest third and goal. Old Chip Kelly T formation. This is old school right here now. All right, so old T formation. One thing about this is primarily a running formation. A lot of people know that, but you have to know who has what. You're going to see right here. This guy here is going to come off the edge. You can't really tell, but he has. It looks like he has the tight end, and Travis should have first out. Okay, that doesn't happen. He's actually going to whiff on the jam because he's going to whiff here on the tight end. Watch. Uh, he misses the tight end. So now Travis has to pick him up. He's outnumbered. See, he's going back looking here at 20. And before you know it, he sees this guy, but nobody picks up 33. I'll say this. What I think should have happened is he's going to come off the edge. He has the tight end. Travis will have first out. Whoever first out is, he would have. But because he missed, Travis said, oh, shoot, I got to cover him. And now that happened, it created a big mishap. And then the middle linebacker would have to take this guy right here, 88. I'm sorry, this guy would have 88. But he whiffs as well, 44 whiffs also. That's amazing. Look at it. He whiffs. Whoop! And now 88 is sitting there wide open as well. They just got outnumbered because of lack of execution and technique. Man. That's tough right there. All right, here we go. Third and 15, 13, 34 in the second. Here's where the sacks begin, man. Let's look here, and it's coming right here. Just simply just ran by him. Ran by him. Pure and utter collapse of the defense. I mean, you see the running back, he trying to stay in there. Oh, why you don't keep? <laughs> Bro, look at the running back. Uh, he getting thrown out the club by his helmet. Shador getting, look at this. You can't even see Shador up under all of this, man. And I want to talk about this protection again. Let's look at this. They go with this stunt and they, they basically do a stunt here, but you're trying to man on man this. He ended up getting picked off and now this dude come in and get some also. I'm not sure how to, how to tell him to block that, except you got to start cutting some of these dudes. Cut their legs from up under them. It's legal. You can do it. Third and 13, 10.05 in a second. I mean, God, Lee, bro. Right here, let's take a look at this guard. Just let him walk by. Let him walk by. Let, just let him walk by. Right here, they're overloading it. Well, we need a tight end in the game. We got a tackle. He walks past Mikey and the tackle. You literally have seven in protection. There's seven. Five old linemen, a tight end, and a running back. It's not enough. They're only bringing five. Five against seven. UCLA wins that ball fight. Second and seven, 324 in the second. This is literally the second play coming. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. No, it's not. This is the uh, the targeting call. Now, I want to say this before I get into this. I know the Colorado fan base is going to be mad at this. But technically, by letter of the law, it's targeting. I have to say this. Coach Hayes, especially as a defensive coach, I hate these calls. It was not a malicious act. I don't think uh, Shiloh tried to hit him in the head. 
He tried to lead with his shoulder, but unfortunately, his helmet made contact with this gentleman's face mask, and that's why he got put out. It was a great play on defense. Look at this. Second is, I mean, sh second to seven, short of the sticks. Great hit. A little high. They throw the flag. Let's take a look at this hit. Right there. Makes helmet, makes contact with the helmet. Right? The head turns. The head bobbles. They're going to get you every time, unfortunately. My goodness. I mean, great hit. But, uh, and that's what got him put out the game right there, unfortunately. I hate the call. I'm big for the flagrant one, flagrant two. You know, flagrant one, you know, is not intentional. Flagrant two, intentional, automatic ejection. Anyway, first and 10, 14, 13 in the third. Right down the gut. This was the second play from scrimmage after the half. It went right down the gut. Now, let's look at an end zone cut of this, and I'm going to show you where the mistake was made by Colorado. They motion this guy out. He goes with them, but he widened out and moved out the way. They're in a two-cover, two-shell look, right? And now middle of the field is going to be wide open. He sees it, darts it, 88, right down the gut for the touchdown. All right, here we go. A little motion. Let's look at this deal. They're keeping guys in. I mean, this, this dude literally has nowhere to go with the football. Nowhere. And I want to talk about this pass protection again, right? You got the guard. They run a stunt. He comes all the way around, and you're trying to chase him all the way around. It's not going to happen. Look at this. You got the other side guard trying to come all the way around with this stunt. He just doesn't have the foot speed. He puts the pressure on Shadur. Nothing he can do. Man. Third and goal, 1448. I mean, just easy walk in touchdown right here. Let's take a look at it. He getting hemmed up. I think this is Silman Craig looking in the backfield, trying to identify what's going on. Somebody has to have this edge. Somebody has to have this edge. But right now you can see the Bruins are just stronger than the Buffaloes. Look how many, look at this. All these blue jerseys on this side of the line of scrimmage. And he just bent, bounces this deal outside for the easy walk in score. 38, 12, 59 left in the game. I mean, he's running for his life, guys. He is literally running for his life. They end up calling intentional grounding. I thought it was, you know, I thought it was petty, but it didn't really matter. It was still gonna be fourth down regardless. They would have had to punt this ball. But let's look at this. Let's look at this coming off the edge. Again, six on four. You got the numbers. You got the numbers, but you just can't beat him on a talent standpoint. Look, he just beats him terribly. Forces him out the pocket. Number two, literally running for his life, man. Second and goal, 643 in the fourth. Quarterback pulls it. And right now, you two wide right here as a safety. I'll show you exactly and why he pulled it. You're going to get him running down the line. He has the option. If he runs down this line, he can pull it, okay? If he stays high, give it. Well, he runs down the line. He pulls it. Well, they got the blocking. He's going to come too wide, and you're going to see this quarterback's too good. Put his foot in the ground and get vertical. Takes him wide. Look at that. Put his foot in the ground, get vertical, pulls through it. And by that time, it's too much space. Here's a perfect look at it. Comes down the line, makes the tackle. Nope, pulls it. He has to constrict this hole. He can't wait. Come on down in here right now. The closer and tighter you are, the less room he has to give you the wiggles. So what does he do? He takes it wide, which is smart. Because if he takes it wide, it keeps you wide, knowing that I'm going to put my foot in the ground and hit all this green grass. Boom, puts his foot in the ground. Can't make that open field tackle. Walks straight up the gut for the touchdown. And there you have it. That's the ugly. That is the good, bad, and ugly. Right now, we know that Colorado has a lot of work to do when it comes up front in that box. The offensive line has struggled all season, and I'm not sure what Coach Prime and his staff are going to do, but whatever they're going to do, they got to do it quickly because they have a big matchup next weekend in Boulder against Oregon State, who is currently ranked number 16th. Well, with all that being said, make sure you go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe button as well as Check out interstatesportsgifts.com. That is the sponsor for today's show. All the information is in the description below. And with that being said, Coach Hayes will catch you at the 50-yard line. Peace.